Hi guys. This is freaking Jeep's mess and my name is John and this is take two because the camera went off all by itself and it's got a good battery and it says fully charged. But we were just down there loading this up and I brought it up. I think this is 0.89 of a cord. I think that's what the same as the one I just took back down there and that you could see that on there. Um, the channel freaking Jeep if you're new here, Frick is the sawmills I use. Frick sawmills, there's two of them here on the property. And the other thing I used to play with is old Jeeps. There used to be about 40 of them here on the property. Now I'm down to about 10 and I don't really get into them too much anymore. They're just kind of put away. I gotta check the camera. For some reason that thing went out. I got no reason why. It's still hanging in there now. Um, I don't normally bring up wood. I'm gonna take you off this off this tripod so now it's going to be shaky I don't normally bring up this wood until both this rack and that rack sometimes I put two racks over there yeah I can hold two totes over there and, and one of these racks um, but they're calling for rain and and it's supposed to start getting warm and that's going to turn everything into mud and Johnny boy don't like mud so that's what I'm going to do the strings hold up that but I put these strings up in a hurry and I didn't get them get them properly put up and what they're supposed to have you can see the knot in there it's supposed to have a knot on the inside that keeps keeps the hook down but it went all the way up there and I can't reach it and I need to get a ladder and I didn't feel like getting a ladder because I was a lazy butt when I did it so the strings here aren't particularly right but I don't usually mess with these strings the strings that I really mess with are from here on up that way the two up there I never even messed with I didn't need the plastic up there greenhouse plastic anyhow what my job now is is to get this rack turned around and put in here so if I run out of wood in that rack I won't have these boards in the way if you follow that the, the front of these is open if you're new here these are my wood crates these are the ones that I like I think this is the final thing the reason I like it is because it fits between here and here and I can get through here easy there's how the front ends open it holds better than a half cord it's open at the top and now I've, I've seen a lot of totes things I've got I've got boards like on this one here if I don't slip this is actually pretty slippery I got boards um, on the top which you can see them here is all I do is hit my head on them. Those boards will probably disappear and I'm going to go to the to the rack, to the plastic uh, wobble wire down the sides. Uh, if you didn't see on the last video I put that on there because if I hit a little bump, if this thing's like this full of wood and open and I hit a little rut or bump or rock or root, it goes like that quick because it's so far out on the forks and it'll dump half a load. So if I put these these in there, some nice gentleman said use these instead of the rope um, it didn't quite catch them. I meant to show you when I was down there. See, it didn't wrap all the way around that. It's kind of pinned into there, so it was kind of hard where the new brackets that I made go up over the top and hold it together. If you haven't seen those, those are in some other shows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put you over there someplace on the wood rack, and I'm going to do what i got to do get, to get this in. And you can see it, or... Um, if I knew how to fast forward it and just just go and it's done But you know, we don't know how to do that here. Let's see what this view here looks like. I think you'll be able to see it all right here And I'm hoping I should be able to get up there without I don't need it quite that high and I don't need it quite that uh, Maybe I'll move you back just a hair further. I Think that's probably pretty good. You'll see I brought that one rack there in set it down there So now I got to go up and get this rack here which I usually set now that I think about it where the camera is. So uh, I'll have to come up with so I'll come up with another plan. And all this, this is actually slipperier than you think. I might have to get some fireplace ashes out and throw it there. I had to get my car out today and my car was stuck in the front yard on a flat spot. Okay, we got got what's going on, I think. Stay tuned, this is just what I do. And because I don't have any any really interesting videos, you just kind of get in the uh, bottom of the barrel. I'll put my mittens on. Maybe I'll take my mittens off. I think I'll take my mittens off and set them over there. 
Oh, Lordy. I sift the ashes sometimes when they get so thick to get the smalls from the bank.
now. That's basically it, really. That wood uh, will last a week. Well, I don't know. But I'll show you. I guess I'll take you off the swizzle stick. If if I had the moisture meter up here, I'd moisture meter one of these chunks of wood to see what it is. But you can see how I can't get in there. This is so wide, it makes it tight for getting in here. It's also just kind of awkward. That's why I like my new rack designs a little. And also, when you're driving with a bobcat, when you're driving with a bobcat, this is the view you got. You, you, don't, you don't have that view, because this is, well, I guess you're in this close. So you got, you can't see what you're doing. That's another reason I like those little racks. And boy, I'm right on, can't get much closer than that, can you guys? You just can't see where you're going. But see these here, I can, I can reach, reach those and undo it and let this plastic down. But I'll, I'll probably pull off of this rack and walk it around every now and then you gotta do that. Um, just so I got, got more, uh, more wood on that rack once it starts to rain. I burn a quart of wood a week through the winter. And it makes, even though that wood is dry, super, super dry, I get tons. Can you see that bucket full of creosote? I don't mean I get a little bit of creosote. I empty that five gallon bucket every week. Now I'm saving it. I'm saving it because I'm gonna spray it on the barns to see if those um, uh, carpenter bees, those bumbly bees that drill holes in your thing, maybe won't like it. Can you see how high that 55 gallon barrel is? It had about a foot in it when I started from last year. So, and I don't like, I guess, you know, I, I probably said it in the last video. I don't wanna get into this unless I got to, that's emergency wood. I pulled it out of here last year, I've been sitting in here for 10 years. Those are fireplace, the creosote that you, that you, my boiler, you gotta clean the boiler out and you get this, you get this fine like sawdust, which is just the creosote that you scrape off. When you clean those tubes, I showed a cleaning the tubes the other day, and you get this crap right here. And it's like, I, I don't know what it is. It's very light. It's very light. But I put that down. I think I showed it when I, when I did. I put that down underneath all that wood. And then I poured some of that, a lot of that um, creosote down and let it soak in. And after 10 years, when I was getting into that wood, I saw no termites, no nothing in there. But this creosote is different. This creosote is water soluble until it gets th thicker. Then it, then it changes to an oil base. It's almost like um, maybe when you're making whiskey or something like that, it, it changes. The, the, it changes. I, I don't know how, I, somebody out there might be smart enough to tell me what's going on. I, it's not the same creosote smell that you smell um, like the good old creosote. But I can tell you one thing, it smells exactly like liquid smoke, but a lot more intense. And it looks just like liquid smoke. It's, it's black, you get it on your hands and it, it doesn't wash off with soap and water. It'll, it'll clean up a little bit, but anyhow, that's where we're at. We're gonna call this a wrap. This is gonna be tomorrow's. I'm gonna go down there and maybe make another one for the next day, cause it's gonna be raining in a few days. So I might just, and the battery still might be good. I'm going to, uh oh, this thing came apart. And then I just dropped the part here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to try to figure out how to put this thing back together. And I can't do it. It's got a little metal piece there. This this has got a cam that comes in here, but you got to put the metal piece in there. This is not, you're not supposed to be able to pull this out. But guess what? I just did. And then you're not supposed to pull the handle out that I'm holding on to, but I do. It's got a that's what I'm going to do next. Then I'm going to go down there and cover up that. Uh, oh, I got to get that other crate of wood out down there and get it under um, under cover. I think I would be. No, nah, I think I'll leave it where it's at. I don't know. I'm going to go down there and 
figure out what I'm going to do when I get down there. So thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And that's where we're at in the afternoon. Bye-bye.